Well, hello, hello. Good afternoon, everybody. It is Saturday. It is Saturday afternoon, and I am super excited to be with you today. Hope everyone is doing well. Hope you have been having a wonderful Saturday. Well, today started off with rainy weather, thunderstorms, early morning, and I tell you, it was like, okay, is this the way the day is going to be? today. And for the last couple of days, it's been like that. Rainy in the morning and all of a sudden the sun comes up and everything is uh, shining and beautiful. So that's how it is today. So I want to ask you, it's, I know we can't find out what your weather forecast is, but I want to ask you uh, at in your state, but your weather forecast, is your weather forecast today is it sunny? Is it, um, are you in a good mood? Is it, is it a cloudy day? Just as far as you are concerned, you know, we always look at the weather outside, but what about with you? Is it sh sunshiny? Are you happy? Or is this a gloomy day for you? What is your weather forecast for today? So if you will, put it in the comments. If you uh, watch this later, just put it in the comments what kind of day this is starting out to be for you. So I am excited because today, like I said, this is the Saturday shift. And on the Saturday shift, we talk about all kinds of things. So whatever comes to mind, we're going to talk about. But today I want to talk about some of my favorite things, some of the my favorite things that I use and I use uh, just about every day. So I'm going to share those with you. Also, I'm going to be talking to you about my journey. As you all know, I've been on this uh, six week, well, it's like 40 day journey and I am working very hard to um, really focus on my weight and really focus on my health. The main thing, it's not so much my weight as it is my health and some of the goals that I want to set. So I want you to come along with me and join me on this journey because this thing is real and I'm finding out so much about who I am, about how, how I've been living my life, how I've been letting certain things control me. And now I am really working. It's a mindset shift. It's not something that you can just, you know, just today I'm going to do it, but it's a daily uh, turnaround in your health. So let me tell you a little bit about uh, what I'm doing. So this week I've been working on a blog and it'll be coming out soon. And I've been working on a blog about inflammation. And I am finding out so much about inflammation, even on this journey that I'm on right now, I'm finding out so much about inflammation and how the process works. You know, there's an acute inflammation, there's a, uh, uh, inflammation, a chronic inflammation that happens when it continues in your body and some of the effects that you have, um, in your body that you can start feeling. Sometimes you can even feel the warmth in your body. So on this 40 day journey, I found out that there's a lot of things that it's, it really is all about your mindset, about changing your mind about what you're doing. So that is one of the things is the foods that we eat, the things that we take in. Um, on my blog, when I talk about inflammation, I'm talking about what we're putting in our bodies that are affecting us for long term. Um, the things that we put in our body, it can affect us through pain. It can affect us through uh, we're being more weak, more tired, lethargic, just no get up and go. Um, the brain fog that you feel. Uh, certain foods that you put in your mouth. And what I'm learning is when I put food in my mouth, whatever I take in, I am journaling what I'm putting in. What I'm using is I'm using Fitness Pal. And I have an app called Fitness Pal. And this on this app, it, it will even tell me you didn't post your food for this morning. So it'll remind me to go ahead and post what I ate this morning. And so I'm finding out um, the foods that I eat, 
that it causes brain fog or it may cause more inflammation when I once I look at what I put in and I start feeling a little funny or something's not right, I know maybe that food is not agreeing with me. So it is just important to keep a track of what you're doing if you're on a weight loss journey. Just keep a track of everything you eat, every single thing that I put in my mouth. Um, I'm drinking some herbal tea this morning and everything that I put in my mouth, I am putting on that fitness pal app to just, I can go back and review what I had and when I started having the pain. So what you put in your mouth, it'll show up in pain. It'll show up in inflammation. You can even sometimes feel or see the swelling or the redness in your hands, in your knees, um, the weakness, the tiredness, the no get up and go, brain fog. Uh, but my decision um, is was to really focus in and say, okay, what am I doing? Uh, how do I want to show up in the world? How do I want to show up in my health? Because believe it or not, the way you show up, it shows up on in your in the way you look, the way you feel. You may not, you may look good on the outside, but if you're not feeling good on, in the inside, it's going to show up. Um, as a coach, you know, a lot of times we hear, I, you know, I don't eat much. And we may hear, um, you know, I, I just I just snack a little bit. I really don't have eat a lot. But when you say that, when you think about not eating much, the question is, when are you eating? How much are you eating? What are you eating? Why are you eating? And where? So those are some of the questions that I ask. When are you eating? You know, the times that you eat make a difference. I eat every morning at 8 o'clock, 11.30, uh, 2 o'clock, and 5 o'clock. Those are my times to eat. And I am focused on that. So when are you eating? A lot of times people say, well, I'm not a breakfast eater, so I'll eat at noon or one o'clock. That's when I start eating. But then when you start eating, then you're eating for the rest of the evening and into the night because you're so hungry. So the question is, when are you eating? How much are you eating? I found out on this weight loss journey that my portions matter. On this journey, we are eating only 400 calories per meal. Now, 400 calories, I found out it really is enough. Uh, that's calories a day. So I'm eating four meals, not three meals and a snack, but I'm eating four meals. And so I'm really uh, planning my meals out so that I'm eating 400 calories or less. So how much are you eating? Are you you know, eating the healthy squash, but you're eating a mound of it? Or are you eating the grilled chicken breast, but you're eating, uh, you know, too much? So balancing your plate. Uh, then what are you eating? And my focus is eating a protein, a carb, and a fat with each meal. You know, so I'm balancing it out. I'm not just eating all carbs because I'm really hungry and my brain is saying, eat carbs but I'm eating uh, a balanced amount of each protein, fat, and carbs. And then why are you eating? Ask yourself, why am I eating? Am I eating because I'm bored? Am I eating because I'm sad that something happened? Am I eating because I'm happy and, hey, let's go out and let's hang out and do this? Why are you eating? And then where are you eating? Ask yourself that. Where am I eating? Am I eating in the car? Am I eating on the way home from somewhere and then I'm going to come home and act like I didn't eat and eat again with the family? So where are you eating? Where are you? I, I found myself that when I went to the grocery store, after I came out, before I, as I'm coming out, I always had to get me a bag of chips, a candy bar or something like that just to, uh, on the way home, a snack. You know, so I, I started really realizing, wait a minute here, this is a habit. This is a, a trend that I'm 
that I'm doing that I need to stop. So I made it a point that if I was going to uh, want something, have something in my purse, even a little container of some walnuts or almonds that I could pop in my mouth on the way home because that was a habit. Um, so, you know, another thing that I've, I've thought about and I've been thinking about the last uh, couple of days is that the holiday is coming. Easter is coming. And we know that at Easter time, everybody wants to get the ham out, the potato salad, the mac and cheese, all the Easter things and the candy that comes along with Easter, the Easter eggs, the jelly beans, the malted milk balls. These, see, this is all things that I I, I know and, and would like. Um, so thinking about that, as you're making your grandchildren a basket or your children a basket, you know, I'm going to throw the jelly beans in. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. So think about what that does for you and how you, uh, you're weaving in to that to the Easter, uh, you know, so plan ahead for those things. Uh, I've made a decision that for my own health, that I'm going to do everything that I can to live well, to really strengthen my body, to get more focused on taking care of Brenda. And I encourage you to do the same. Just, you know, one step at a time. It's not something that you do once and it's done, but it's a daily commitment to yourself and to your health. Um, I'm so excited because this Monday I am going to the doctor. I haven't been to the doctor in about six months. I think I went in December. So I'm going uh, to the doctor. It hasn't been six months, but they want to check me again. So I'm going to the doctor on uh Monday. And I'm excited because I know she's going to do my blood work. Uh, I told you before my cholesterol was 230 and uh, they put me, they did, I did get on something for cholesterol. Uh, it's not a statin, but it's something, you know, below that. So I did start on that. My, my cholesterol went down to 199. And so when it went down to 199, they told me, well, the doctor wants you to go on something else with that to help it. And I was like, no, no, I'm not doing that. Tell her I will talk to her when I come to see her. So we will talk. And I'm excited because I'm going to get my blood work done. And because of how I've been eating, I've been really focused and mindful of my eating. I'm excited to see what my blood work is. So I'm going to share it with you next Saturday. Um, I haven't done this on my own. That is one thing I have not done but with the help of God. And so it's something that I focus on daily is my relationship with God. Everything that I do is really bringing me closer to him and knowing that I can trust him in everything. Um, I'm going to share with you a scripture that I was reading today that, um, I, that I really loved. I'm, I've been reading with my group and we're talking about the spirit. We're talking about the Holy Spirit living on the inside of us. And this scripture is found in Isaiah 44 and three. And it says that for I will pour water on the thirsty land and streams on the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon your offspring and my blessing on your descendants. This is a promise to us that God will pour water on our thirsty land and streams on those dry grounds and have pour out uh, my spirit upon your offsprings. So our offsprings, God is pouring out his spirit upon. And this devotion talked about, you know, how, how easy it is. You know, it's Saturday. And so, of course, Friday, we are so hopeful. We're so happy. We're so excited about Friday. You know, people come into work and they're like, hey, good morning, good morning. But Mondays is like, good morning, you know. But Friday is like, hey, good morning, good morning. And this Friday was even better because it was spring break. It's spring break week this week. So everybody was excited. Hey, it's, it's, it's Friday. We're here. We made it. We made it. And when you think about the hope that you have when you are doing something or when something is, is going on. And for me, the hope that I have 
because I am on this journey and I'm changing out some things and I'm shifting the way I think about my food. I'm shifting the way I think about my life and about my health. Um, it is so important when we have hope. And when we have hope that I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength, that this is not being done on my own, but it is being done through Christ who gives us strength. So even on your health journey, if you feel like I am in a bad place, I'm in a low place, I'm not moving, I'm not, you know, I'm not doing the things uh, on this health journey, I've only been losing like two pounds a week. So this week I got to my 10 pounds and I am not, you know, some people are losing more than me in, in our group. And I'm fine with that because I know this is sustainable for Brenda. I know that I am, I am eating at a pace where now I feel the momentum to keep going. And so sometimes we have to trust God and believe that this is not done on your own, that everything that you do, it starts somewhere. And it starts, number one, with a decision. You have to make a decision that this is what I want to do, that I want to live well, that I want my health. I want to be healthy for me. I want to grow in, in my relationship with food, that food is not going to control me. One of the things we do every week is we do a fast. And uh, the first couple of weeks, we did a fruit fast. So we ate fruit and drank our water all day. And that was the first couple of weeks. It was hard because it was like, ooh. But the third week, when we did just water only, it was a time that I didn't have to worry about food. It was a time where I was just focused on drinking my water and really focusing on my relationship with God and knowing that, you know, I, food is not controlling my life. And the next day I felt refreshed. I felt uh, energy rejuvenated. Why? Because it's a mindset shift. It's I'm changing the way I think about food. So I encourage you. I'm excited because I am I am planning to share this with people that I know. Giving you know we're gonna do a, a, a just a, a, a reset to show you some of the things that I'm learning on my journey. So I'm excited about that. I can't wait to do that with you. Okay, so let's move along. So I want to share a little bit more. I want to share some of my favorite things, some of the favorite things, some of the things that I use every single day. These are um, things that I love that that I use often. Okay, one of the things, and I'll show you this first, oh, is this. I'm going to drink some. This is my water bottle. I got this on Amazon. Um, I'm not quite sure about who it's by, but this, uh, someone showed me this water bottle and it goes up to like a thousand. And so I only have to drink like, now I have to drink like 80, maybe 80 ounces. But this is the best thing because it tells you how much water you're drinking, how you're doing. It gives you a little motivation to keep going. So this, this is number one, my water bottle. And it's got a little strap here, easy to clean. It's a wonderful uh, little bottle of water. So uh, check that out. Uh, it's on Amazon. Another thing that I use every single day without fail is essential oils. So if you know me, you know that I always have essential oils in my purse. I guess being a nurse and giving out medicine for so long, I don't really like to take medicine. I mean, very rarely. If you ask me, do I have medicine in my purse? That is a no, because I give it out so much that I, I like natural things. And so one of the natural things is peppermint oil. And this is by doTERRA. 
and I am a distributor of this, but I love this. And I love the fact that it has a roller on there. So all you have to do is just, if you have a headache, just do this and just put it on the side of your temples, you know, like this. Uh, if you have sinus problems, I know a lot of people don't do this. You got to keep it away from your eyes, but I, I do. If my sinuses are acting up, I just dab a little bit here. And it, like I said, don't get it really close to your eyes. But if you have sinuses and my skin is, I guess my skin is used to this peppermint, but it, it works wonders. Peppermint oil. And in addition to that one, I use this. It's called Clary Sage. Clary Calm, I'm sorry, but it's the Clary Sage oil. And it's it's women, a lot of women use it, but it's really good for anxiety, relax you. Uh, some people don't like the smell of it, but I do. So Clary Calm. And that's by doTERRA as well. I have another one. This one is by Melaleuca. And this one is called Steady Grounding Blend. And so it has a blend of different... Uh, uh, since too, but I, oils, if you ever need anything for a headache, that's, that's what I would give you. Uh, I have this, this is a body conditioner by Lush that I use. I love Lush's products and I use them often. And it's a little, it's a body conditioner, like a lotion. I use it like a hand cream. Um, one of my other favorite things is, and I mean, it's, kind of different. This is a amber zoom mist. It's a aromatherapy room and body mist. I use it to spray on my body. They have this in amber. They have it in patchouli oil, which I love. And they also have frankincense and myrrh. So I kind of go between these and uh, these are really good. Um, another brand that I love is Melaleuca. I'm a Melaleuca uh, distributor as well. And it's called Alloy Smoothing Body Moisturizer. And the other one is Renew. It's a body oil by Melaleuca that I love to use after bath. It's got tea tree oil in it. So it's good for bacteria and stuff like that. Uh, let's go to eyes. This is something that I use when I started going to the, when I, well, I didn't start going, but I've been going to the eye doctor. Uh, one of the things she told me to do is use a eye lubricant every day in my eyes. She said my eyes were a little dry. I didn't feel it, but uh, so I started using this lubricant in my eyes every day, morning and night. It's just, um, it's good for your eyes. So that. And uh, one other thing that I have that I use often is, and I've been using for my hair, and I think my hair is like coming together. It's, it's starting to grow back where I had the, the shedding. And one of the things that I use is Royal Oils, and this is by Head & Shoulders, and it's actually for black hair, and it's a scalp elixir. It's a scalp elixir and uh, it's really good. I, I love the, it's got peppermint in it, a cooling menthol and peppermint oil. And it's for itchy dry scalp. And it's also for curls and crowns. So I use this whenever I have itching and it's wonderful. It's called Royal Oils. And last is Dr. Locks. This is... Uh, called Yaya Oil. And again, for my scalp, my scalp is feeling healthier now. I've been washing my hair twice a week and I use this. This is actually right here. My hair really broke out and it was bald. And this is what grew my hair back. So that's, a, that's one of my favorites. I keep that on hand. And my last but not least thing that I use is my nails. I used to go to the uh, to the Chinese, you know, nail places and get my nails done, but I stopped doing it and I started getting my nails at the um, 
at the dollar store, the Dollar Tree, and it's LA colors. These are the best ones to get. Um, and they are, I'm, I got these because they are Easter, you know, kind of Easter colors, but this is LA colors. And these are just a dollar twenty-five. You know, Dollar Tree went up, dollar twenty-five. And I use these. You know, they have the other ones that are. Uh, I think it's called Kiss, and they are uh, more expensive. They're like six ninety-seven. But these are only a dollar, and I love them because they're hard. They they don't the Kiss ones. They kind of bend a little bit, but these are hard and they stay on. And I, what I do, like right now, I kind of have all different colors on because once I, you know, use some of them up, I just put them in a little baggie and I save them. So when I run out, I have all colors and different colors are in style now. So I kind of throw on some that kind of relate, you know, same colors. And I, uh, have plenty of nails to use. I use a nail glue. I do use Kiss nail glue, and this one is a brush on. I like this, but I like the one without the brush better by Kiss, and this is the maximum strength glue. So I stopped going to get my nails done, and I just put these on. These last about three weeks for me. And I love them. If I want to change them, they're only a dollar. So you can change them any times. And I use a get you a nail file. And I just, I like mine short because I am a nurse. So I like them short, just finger, like fingertip. If they're shorter, they last longer because you're not, you know, like hitting them on anything. So those are just some of my favorite things. One more thing that I didn't show you that is a favorite of mine and that is a good journal and pens now these markers are fine line drawing pens and they are really i got these on amazon and uh these are really nice for taking notes and even drawing but i'd use them for taking notes and i love them i love them and a good journal just having a good journal to sit down with and write your thoughts. And uh, I use them for my scriptures. When I'm doing my book, you know, my Bible study, I use that type of journal. So I just wanted to share. It is Saturday, and I just wanted to come on and just share some things with you, encourage you to keep going on your journey to wellness. And I will be back with you. This is spring break week, so you may see me a little more on uh, YouTube. All right, so have an amazing rest of your Saturday. If your Saturday is gloomy today, just know that there is hope, that it's never too late, that you are coming out of whatever it is you're going through, whatever problem you have right now, that you're coming out. As long as you have God on your side, you'll make it. Have an amazing day. Take care.